after completing the tests and officially equipping the KJ-600, China will become the third country to own a fixed-wing airborne early warning and control aircraft operating on a carrier after the U.S. Navy and France. China's KJ-600 SAN is designed to be deployed on TAP-003 aircraft carriers and possibly on TAP-004, sharing a similar philosophy to the U.S. aircraft. China's development of the KJ-600 by SAN Aircraft Industrial Corporation as an aircraft carrier launch airborne early warning and control aircraft is seen as an act of copycat. The Chinese aircraft features a high straight wing and is surmised to be powered by a pair of WJ6 turboprop engines. It sports a quad fin tail plane, tricycle gear, and a large dorsal rotor dome suspected to be fitted with an EASA radar system. Jeanne's Asia Pacific expert, John Gravett, said the EASA radar allows the KJ-600 to detect and track targets at a larger scale, improve situational awareness, and gain a better understanding of an impending threat. Along with that, Chinese military experts are very confident that the KJ-600 will bring advantages to the Chinese military. Currently, the country's aircraft carriers still have to use helicopters and radar systems on board to gather intelligence. Although the Chinese military is very confident in the capabilities of the KJ-600 and the advantages it offers, according to U.S. military experts, the KJ-600 is only higher than the AN-24 and far behind the U.S. E-2 Hawkeye. According to international military experts, the EASA radar system on the KJ-600 can only detect targets at a maximum distance of 200 km. Compared to the upgraded E-2, the Chinese aircraft has a target detection range of only half that of the U.S. aircraft. In 2023, six KJ-600 prototypes were in different stages of testing. So far, there is no evidence that the aircraft has undergone caterpillar launch or arrested recovery at land-based caterpillar test site at the People's Liberation Army Carrier Aviation Test and Training Base. Fixed-wing carrier-borne early warning and control aircraft are crucial for any Navy seeking a robust and capable carrier air wing. They enhance a carrier group's offensive and defensive capabilities, situational awareness, and network-centric warfare. The KJ-600, once inducted, will be a significant asset for China's naval aviation. People's Liberation Army's efforts to replicate or hijack U.S. platforms and technologies have been a source of headache for Pentagon and American weapons developers. In recent years, the Chinese forces have also been emulating tactics, strategies, and doctrinal approaches on how best to integrate, apply, and deploy emerging technologies. Many observers have noted the stark resemblance that the FC-31 has with the American F-35. The flat tail and twin engines of the FC-31 seem to be derived from the F-22, and the front end resembles the F-35.
the Chinese KJ-600 and the U.S. Navy E-2D Hawkeye are both early warning and control aircraft. The KJ-600 is a medium-sized early warning aircraft with two engines. Its primary role is surveillance, threat detection, and tracking. The KJ-600 share similarities with the U.S. Navy's E-2 Hawkeye series. The Chinese platform aims to achieve multi-domain, multi-platform joint connectivity, data transmission, and targeting. The U.S. experts fear the PLA has been maturing surveillance plans like the KJ-600 and is replicating the successful feature of the E-2D Hawkeye. The American all-weather, carrier-capable tactical early warning and control aircraft. The E-2 Hawkeye has the longest production run of any carrier-based aircraft, continuously producing variants since 1960. It replaced the earlier piston engine E-1 Tracer. The Hawkeye, a surveillance aircraft, can also serve as a control and command center by networking with fighter jets, warships, drones, and even satellites in near real time to draw a real time battlecraft picture. The experts fear that the PLA is trying to mirror the U.S. tactics to meet the challenge that the American forces pose. Emulating the U.S. Navy, the People's Liberation Army Navy is integrating the KJ-600 with fighter jets. Recently, in an essay published in the Chinese government-backed Global Times newspaper, China demonstrated the KJ-600's capability to network with the J-15 carrier launch fighter jet. During the drills, the early warning aircraft formed a communication network and established an information chain, detected and located target radiation sources and commanded and guided the fighter jets to conduct attacks against targets at sea. The Global Times states, While there may be similarities in their roles and configurations as carrier-based early warning and control aircraft, it could be inaccurate to characterize the KJ-600 as a direct copy of the E-2D Hawkeye. Both aircraft represent the independent development efforts to their respective countries to fulfill specific operation requirements.